Hey guys, in a incredibly strange turn of events, we found out that foil basics are not in the same amount we expected them to be. Let me explain. So foil basics are a masterpiece essentially. Therefore, they will commend a masterpiece price. We've already seen all of these sold out. Pre-orders for planes began at $11, $10 for a foil plane. That would have been an incredible pre-order to the point that the order from Troll and Toad would have been canceled. I assume that what is what they will do. So what exactly happened here? Well, foil basics have a certain known ratio in a regular set. Wizards of the Coast, their accounting department, or whoever is in control of how many, what type of cards are put into the set, looked at the numbers and they said, what if we made the Foil Basics masterpiece? Would that allow people to buy more packs, sell more cards? And that is correct. They took a look at the secondary market and they really are abusing players at this point. I do not agree with this at all. I feel like the foil basics or the foil unstable basics should be available to more people and not a limited masterpiece product. This is incredibly dishonest. There's a lot of shame. I know why they're doing it. They're doing it so they can sell more and more product. If you're after a foil basic, then yeah, you're gonna keep opening unstable and then eventually you hit one just like what happened to battle for Zendikar, when the masterpieces first came out, you thought they were an exclusive product. I am disappointed this is the way they are going, but the prices reflect this. Uh, Star City Games obviously opens product very early and they can figure out, wait a second, we're not, you know, we open a thousand boxes and we expected X amount of swamps and islands what's going on so they probably were buying people out as well would be this smart logical move i feel like it is i mean when one of the greatest selling points of this product is the foil lands to make them mythic status or mythic foil status when in fact they should be foil commons is very very poor practice in my opinion uh, it is them going down to secondary market I just can't see why uh, they would need to. Uh, maybe it's because they believe the product is not gonna sell without some type of gimmick, but the gimmick of masterpieces, it's so strange that they would say, okay, no more masterpieces, although they've already created masterpieces for the Ixlon set. You can tell that they already created them. They just scrapped it because people were mad. Now they go ahead and they create an unstable masterpiece. Uh, I mean, wow like uh i really scratch my head and say like what's going on with them because it's all these things that on the surface should be player friendly but then when you look a little deeper it's like why do these have to be mythic why do these have not even mythic right it's a foil mythic so they are masterpiece masterpiece so there's five masterpieces in this set they are all five of the lands and it, it's really a shame uh, I think it's quite shameful that they are taking advantage of the player base like this, and I do not condone it. I know most YouTubers are going to say, oh, this is great, great for value. It's not, because you need to open two to three boxes to get one of them. How is that good for anyone? Like, I just don't see it. Like, I cannot imagine a scenario where a casual player is like, oh, awesome, now I can open more products and spend more money. I can't imagine a scenario where people don't buy singles now. If they really just want the land, they are going to be even more willing to buy singles. And now you're going to have a situation where some new players, just like Battle for Zencar. My friend was new to Battle for Zencar. He got into the hype. He bought 10, 12 cases. It's on this channel. We actually just stopped opening cases after like the fourth case because it felt depressing. And that's what's gonna to happen to these new players. They're gonna be like, oh, wow, yeah, foil land. And then two boxes down, they still don't have any. It's like a gotcha game. It's like Fire Emblem. You ask, why do I spend so much money on Fire Emblem? It's cause like, I'm like, oh, well, I'm due for good luck, right? That's the whole masterpiece. I mean, we literally are still in a lottery system 
and it's really, really shameful in my opinion. Anyway, leave me a comment below. <laughs> Bye, guys.